This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video and this time I'm going to be playing with the Odd Eyes Magician deck yet again because I'm really enjoying playing with the deck honestly. Um, it's just really fun to play with uh, even though I probably should start looking into the new Magician cards at least as splashable pieces in this but until uh, until like Thursday they don't come out so <laughs> one more day baby uh, but so oh my god he's literally playing like Diamond Dude Turbo that that's scary to think that that's something that someone's doing in 20 Oh, in 2017, a man after my own heart, Diamond Dude Turbo. Oh boy. Okay, so what I've got access to is I've got access to the cool uh, Sky Iris play. So that seems pretty all right. Um, so what we'll do is we'll activate this, um, activate the Dragon Pit, and then I'll use this to activate, popping it, placing Oaf Dragon in my scale. Activate Oath Dragon to add back the Wisdom Eye. And then Sky Iris. Uh, Sky Iris away the Dragon Pit here because I've got another Oath Dragon anyway. Yeah. So we'll do that. And I'll add Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon to hand. And then I'll play Wisdom Eye in the scale. And then I'll pop it for another Dragon Pit. Yeah, this seems pretty alright. And then I can use Dragon Pit here to pop this by discarding this, and then I can play this in my scale, and then it'd get it back, and then it would just be free cards, but it's actually just redundancy, but at the same time, yeah. At the same time, yeah. It's just free to do it like that. And then we'll activate this, and then I can special summon, and I can special summon this from hand, this from hand, this from extra deck, this from extra deck, and uh, and then this from extra deck, right? Uh, and then I'd be able to make Utopia Beyond, and then just kill him. Yeah, <laughs> I a man after my own heart. This is definitely not going to be the only other video that goes up today. Uh, I'm probably going to do a third duel video if that's the case, if that's what is happening here. And the thing is, I don't even I don't even have to make Utopia Beyond, but I mean I want to. Just because I don't have to doesn't mean I don't want to. Because like I don't have to use my I don't have to use the effect to pop a card if I don't if I don't want to. I don't have to synchro if I don't want to. That's the thought process, right? Yeah. I think we'll, we'll just do this. We we won't waste any more time. We'll just do this. A man after my own fucking heart. Five thousand damage. Attack. And then if if none of it went through, I could summon my vortex. Use vor or summon my noble dragon, make meteor burst, summon this out of my scale, um, and then I'd be able to overlay into like uh, just some rank four that probably doesn't matter. But then I'd also be able to overlay the meteor burst and the dragon pit into either flare metal or absolute dragon, and then I would just be in a really good position overall. Shit, <laughs> fuck. A man after my own heart. Okay, so, like I said, Diamond Dude Turbo. One of those classic old decks that I remember from way back in my day of playing this game. A man after my own heart was this one. Um, but, so, this one was weird. Uh, this is not going to be the only other video that goes up today. I'm going to film one more uh, duel video. So, this is going to be one of those three duel days. Just because I really enjoy playing with a deck like this. Uh, just because I really like Pendulums. I really like Pendulums and what they've, what they've done to change up how the game can be played. I really like that. I'm one of the few people I think that does, but I do like it. But anyway... As always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Links, as always, are in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly and continue to allow me to make 
a content that you might enjoy and you want to support my ability to make that content, then definitely go check out the Patreon page, as that is the best way to support the channel directly, as I've already said. Even something as little as a dollar a month opens up the Patreon feed to you, which is where you can go to look for polls that I put up and questions that I ask about content that you, I want, that you guys want to see, uh, order of content to be put up. For example, like I'm gonna I'll put up a couple of decks and say, which one of these do you want to see first, second, third, all that sort of nonsense, and the poll results will dictate what order I upload those videos in, all that sort of stuff, as well as the $5 reward tier gets you access to my private Discord server with me and a bunch of other people that just chat about stuff on a daily basis, whether it's Yu-Gi-Oh, memeing at each other, uh, talking about other things like uh, just other fandoms, like anime, Star Wars, things like that. If you're interested in any of that, then definitely check those out if you are interested and want to support the channel. As I've already said, but other than that, smash that like button, like this video if you want to support the content I've been you know, making and show me that you like the content that you've been seeing. If you're new here, consider subscribing if you already haven't. I'd love to welcome you on board to the community that's based around this channel that somehow functions with me at the helm of it. I don't understand how this was possible. I didn't think it was possible years ago, but I'm very, very surprised that it is. And I'm humbled every day by the fact that I just have a bunch of people that want to watch shit that I make. So there is that. But anyway, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. And take care. I will see you in the next video.